The title of this video is All Girl and Self-Hatred. So in this video I want to talk about very briefly about the core of Algol. As I'm making this video on the Sun Jupiter conjunction Algol at exactly 27 degrees of Taurus, I think this is the best time to address the elephant in the room. But wherever you have Algol in the natal chart, that is where you experience evil. And we need to understand that evil is about what you reject inside yourself even though it is good yeah evil rejects good it twists it flips the script like when the victim becomes the bully and the bully becomes a victim and the bully becomes a savior and the victim is hunted with pitchforks and when demonized and vilified that is Algol. But what many don't talk about is how much Algol is about self-hatred. The hatred of the body or the rejection of the self, the self-esteem, your love life, your personhood, like there's something wrong with you. And the shame goes so deep that there's confusion, there is uncertainty, there is a kind of a feeling of I don't know who I am and it can't be that bad because Algol it creates a victim abuser dynamic in which the abuser is trying to convince you that you deserve the abuse and when you believe that you deserve the abuse you are looking at yourself as ugly yeah looking at yourself as ugly finding yourself to be an object that is bad the bad object in psychology thinking that you're evil this is simply because you believe you deserve what is happening to you now when we are children no matter what our parents do to us whether it's good or bad because we look at them as omniscient we believe we deserve it. So any shame complexes will be highlighted with Algol, which are founded on that dynamic. That whatever you feel, whatever you hate about yourself, it's just your parent punished you for it, called it out, and your nervous system has been programmed to believe that you deserve it. It's also the cause of body dysmorphia, self-image issues, feeling like you're dysfunctional even though there's nothing wrong with you. And how, how, whatever is there, it becomes the object of the attack. Because the body of the abused, when, when somebody is being raped, sexually assaulted or violently abused by a parent, the abused fuses with the abuser. They essentially become one. So, the abused, it becomes this, it, 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 it is a very, very interesting relationship between the victim and the abuser, because the abused is always trying to hide what the abuser doesn't want. So the abused is kind of like a service provider. The abused is like an arm or a leg of the abuser because if a victim says okay I'm not going to put on this dress so I don't look like a slut is because the abuser tells you to if a victim says I'm going to cut my hair and I'm going to uh, look really like masculine with uh, I do lots of sports and I only talk to girls or whatever I don't know like whatever it would apply to somebody who is closeted be or closeted by uh, homosexual the person does whatever the abuser tells them to do because the abuser fuses with the abused it, it, it becomes a part of the abused the abuser is a part inside of you it's like the abuser is a demonic 
entity that has taken over your body. And from the inside, he's still making you feel bad. He's, he's dysregulating you. He's making you anxious. He's causing tremendous amount of anxiety and dysregulation when you try to be that which he used to abuse. So even 10 years later, 20 years later, 30 years later, you can leave the abuser, but the abuser hasn't left you. And this is why the abused fuses with the abuser. And this is essentially what alcohol is about. To separate, to eliminate the abuser from your body, the evil from your body. But to do that, you need to work with a body. You need to go inside the body. Where is the nervous system hijack, the self-esteem issues, the self-image problems? Because that's what's going to fundamentally determine if you're going to be abused again. Because if you are working together with, with your abuser, if the abuser is inside of you, it will manifest the abuser outside of you. So you will accept being neglected. You will accept abandonment. You will accept torture. And you will still hide that other part of yourself that is in a box, shamed. And that part of you, as it is represented by alcohol, is feminine. It's a part of the body. It's the, it's the way the body expresses its needs, its desires. Its most fundamental needs to, for, to survive and to gain pleasure. This is why alcohol is often represented by sexuality, people who def defy sexuality in some kind of way. Like there's many alcohol individuals and celebrities who have some kind of, like they have a strange personality. They, they show themselves as very controversial and they usually have some kind of scandal or they have something exposed about them which they would prefer to keep secret because should that true part of themselves ever come out the abuse cycle would happen again because it's still inside of them ruling their behavior so it will manifest outside of them and this is why algo can remain a victim because the abuser is inside the person. And to understand that is to work with algorithm. Is to go into the parts where the shame is sitting in the nervous system. To work with the shame and to feel it and to try to act differently. To not be so rigid and frozen because that's essentially what it's about. Algo is trying to hide you, to freeze you, so you play dead, so you don't get up, so you stand down, and you're not moving. You, you, you're you just a victim, everything just happens to you, you just react. Which is why often we find Algo people, they can have an affinity for manipulation, for charm or deception of some kind, because they found that the direct approach to be themselves and ask for what they want isn't working. It's always pushback. So they try to manipulate. And this is also, of course, how evil can manifest. Because if the abuser is inside of you telling you, no, 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 don't be honest, don't be direct. The abuse cycle is going to happen again. Don't make it happen. This is how people become manipulative. This is also how people dissociate. They become twisted. They reject parts of themselves. So it becomes this very rigid personality. It creates a lot of character armoring. But should the person allow themselves to work with a shame, something very, very interesting happens. Because most people, I've, I've, of course, everybody deals with shame on some level. But if you are forced to work with shame, because the shame is overwhelming and it's destroying your life, 
That's why I go is called evil because it literally has the potential to destroy you, to ruin you completely, and even kill you. That is why a person is forced to integrate shame. And at the end, they have overcome their fears to such a tremendous proportion that it completely turns everything around. And they actually inspire other people and help them to overcome their shame as well. So if you have the Sun conjunction Algol, which is the current conjunction in the sky, that is essentially what it's about. If you can overcome and integrate your own shame, you can help other people. Because you recognize how ridiculous the programming is. And you recognize just what you need to do to change it. So how do you actually change it? Well, if you're interested, you can book a somatic embodiment session with me. I do one-on-one -on -one personal services in which I work with a character armoring in the body. Which is exactly what it is, right? So if you'd like to know more about that, you can message me. You can ch check my services in the description down below on my services page. And if you're interested in a reading, you can reach out anytime. If you like this video and like to see more videos in the future, please leave a like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.